Amsterdam, the capital of the Netherlands housing a population of roughly around 850,000 people, is in many opinions considered to be one if not the most liberal cities in the world. According to market researcher Euromonitor, Amsterdam belongs to the top 25 most visited cities in the world. But what makes an estimated 17 million people travel here each year? Amsterdam is known for providing numerous entertainment outlets for a global community that cannot enjoy such liberal activities back home. One of the city's most popular slogans is live and let live. This is clearly illustrated in the gentle legal approach to the use of soft drugs and tolerance for dissimilarity. Amsterdam attracts multitudes of people eager for a taste of what it has to offer. Those being things like marijuana, magic truffles, and prostitution. Despite the joy and pleasure that these activities bring, there is also a business side that can reveal a dark underbelly of this liberal paradise. Changing the law will not change behaviour. I don't think the majority of guys would pay attention. Part of seeing a lady is the risk taking. By cracking down on prostitution and by criminalising it, all that you do is force it underground and you force sex workers into greater danger. On the street, what happens is that it breaks up women's safety networks and forces women to work in more isolated areas. Now the laws on prostitution in the Netherlands are some of the most relaxed in the world. It's legal to sell sex as long as it's between consenting adults. But now a petition has been handed to the Dutch Parliament that asks to make visiting a prostitute illegal. The petition was inspired by the Expose movement, which brought together Christian and feminist ideas. More than 42,000 people signed the petition, which means it will now have to be debated in Parliament. Tiki Valentine is a prostitute and she has been living in Amsterdam since 2017. We visited her at her place of work in Amsterdam to ask if she thinks the women are happy under current legislation. Originally I'm from Bulgaria and so there was another girl from my village who told me about how much money she had made in Amsterdam and I wanted to set myself up for a better life unlike the ones that my parents had. Um, first, I was sure uh, that I'm coming here for just a few months, but then I can say I got uh, sort of addicted to the money I earn now. So I start my day at 5 a.m. and I come here and clean, then I start walking. I prefer to do it in the morning because, you know, there's not so many tourists taking pictures of me. She admits that trafficking is on the rise, and that legislation is far from effective in removing criminality from the sex trade. Talking about trafficking, yes, I am aware of this problem. I mean, it does occur, but not every prostitute is a victim. I don't see any solution. A lot of serious crime is already covered under the current rules. What once looked like a revolutionary approach to prostitution is now clearly seen as a disaster by all except those who seek to make a profit from prostitution. Over the past decade, there were more than 100 sex trafficking cases in Amsterdam. The women are not in a position to freely tell people when something is going wrong. But of course they will still put on a smile because a happy face leads to more clients.